this is technically my second full-length album. It's called Without Heroes. This will be the first album that I am solely 100% putting out myself. I've paid for everything, and which is why it's taking so long. <laughs> Jason, come here, Jason, come here. It's almost time. Jason. Where's he at? We're at, we're at 10.09. Go, go, go get him, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's 10.10 right now. Oh, count it out, count it down. Hey, here we go, Seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten, 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 <laughs> that was gay. I like each album to be a little different, and this one I wanted to incorporate some hip hop and R&B and such like that. I, I grew up loving Motown records and listening a lot to um, uh, Michael Jackson and stuff like that. This song in particular, I try to include some of that um, hip hop influence in the writing of it and the lyrics. It's, it's a love song. Jason, what are we doing? Recording strings. Yeah, pretty awesome, right? Sounds awesome. Yeah. We are recording strings and it sounds awesome. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but... inspired to write something a little slower, acoustic. I've always wanted to have strings on an album and that was always been one of my goals. To have real strings, not like keyboard strings or anything like that. And I think they turned out beautiful. And uh, quartet come in and we doubled everything and I mean, that was one of my one of the highlights of my musical career for sure. The album is mainly about like heroes and stuff, and um, I try to like in each song think about who would be the hero and stuff. And the love songs, I guess, are about finding that hero in someone else. Just what it means. We are going to Athens. Who are you? Oh, I'm Trevor. Cool. Hi, I'm Jason. We're going to Athens. What are we going to Athens for? We're going to do some recording. No, we're not. No. This is for Blow. Oh yeah, we're doing, oh, we're, uh, we are going to do uh, cocaine, we're going to get a keg of heroin. <laughs> we're just going to like, a keg of heroin. What you do in Athens, right? Yeah. You put the, you put the keg, you and go dogs. Go dogs. Go dogs. I have moved a lot. Uh, I've met so many people, and there's been so many people that have been very instrumental in making me who I am, making my music what it is. And I, I wanted to be able to express my gratitude to them in some way, and I've never really been able to do that. And s sometimes I listen to the song, I feel like it's a little cheesy, but at the same time, I, I think me as a person that I am um, sometimes honest to a point that it is a little cheesy so I feel like it represents my feelings very well so I think it's uh, a turmoil in a relationship uh, that was um, torn apart by uh, alcohol abuse and um, and how 
a man is pleading, I think maybe a little too late, uh, pleading for uh, his love for this woman to come back to him and stuff. What it means when you left me without a sleep. I need an answer to this decay. It's basically, um, I guess in some ways, I guess kind of like a, a lullaby or a prayer, uh, kind of saying that um, I'll always be there for you and I know you'll always be there for me kind of thing. I just How's that, Jason? B plus. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're on video. <laughs> a plus and a half. Oh. I don't wanna be alone, so don't you ever let go. Say you don't know. Say you don't know. No. It is another song, I guess, to God or whatever, trying, basically saying, I don't know how you see me so clean when I feel so black and bruised, which is a play on words that I like a lot, rather than saying black and blue.
I wrote this song about my grandfather. Um, he died several years ago. I didn't cry at the funeral. I didn't cry anywhere near, but like two, three, five years later, I was at my friend's house in a different state. We were doing rehearsals for a tour, and I just was sleeping, and I woke up crying because in the dream, he was in the dream, and I, I realized how much I missed him. And uh, I don't know, this song just lent itself perfectly to, to that, I guess, feeling. actually um, influenced by my parents, though. Uh, that would be the hero sense in the song. In today's society, it's hard and rare to find a couple that will stay together through hard times and love each other through hard times and, I guess, prove that, that uh, marriages can last no matter what. Um, I definitely see my parents cry, yell, slam things, throw things, and probably everything in between. But one thing I've never seen them not do is love each other. They've always loved each other. I wanted to, I guess, let them know as a child how impressive and how appreciative I am of that. The reason I wanted to put it at the end of the album is it's got a tag and kind of feel like it's almost one of those it goes away and then comes back in and almost like a, I guess a marching band going over the hill kind of thing and into the sunset. Say it.